All right, so we're going to get rid of some email addresses that are no longer any good. So we're going to go to the last thing that we mailed out and open it up. And we're going to see that 171 bounced. So that's what we want to get rid of because these two and these 26 all got rid of themselves. So we're going to want to uh, check out these 171 bounces here. So you click on that. And once constant contact comes around, okay. So there are a couple of, um, here's, here's what you're going to do, and, and it's a slow process, but it's necessary. So we're going to click on all of these 171 and decide why, whether we need to get rid of them or uh, some of them are perfectly fine. They're just misspelled, and that's mainly the ones we're looking for. Okay, so we'll start with this very first one here, and okay, so J Marbury Kusa Schools dot K twelve dot A L dot U S. That all looks good. Um, so. I'm going to scroll down and take a look at, okay, not sure why it did that. Okay, so what we can see here is that we've sent her some things and Everything was going fine all the way up through January. Uh, but in January, we sent something and it bounced back. February, we sent it, it bounced back. But up until then, we were sending things. It wasn't getting opened, but they didn't bounce back to us. So email is bounced as blocked. Uh, bounced is undeliverable. So, um, so at this point, um, we know that the email was good, but it was blocked, probably because it's a it's a uh, public school email address. So, um, so we don't really. You know, if it's not getting through to them, then there's no point in having it in constant contact. So we're going to go back and get rid of that address. Okay, just go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, we're marking it to remove it. Um, but let's look at uh, at Miss Moore here. It's marked as undeliverable. Um, and what we'll notice here, what I noticed, the reason why I picked this one is that it's a funny looking one. Sometimes people will have something really close to their name. And in this one, it's, um, it just, it looks like a lot of letters. So maybe we misspelled it. But then when you look at this, instead of saying .com, it says dot cpm. So chances are the only thing wrong with this email address is that it was entered in wrong. So if I go and look at her history, we sent something, it bounced, sent something, it bounced, sent something, it bounced. All the way, she's never opened anything, everything is bounced, and Chances are that's because 
we spelled it wrong. So all we're going to do is come in here and spell it correctly and hit save. And we're done. Okay. So now we can go back to the last campaign and just keep working the list. Okay. So this one is non existent. Okay. So let's take a look at that. It's saying that it's non existent, which means that email address does not exist, which is different from um, it being blocked. When it's blocked, it will, um, it's because somebody blocked it. But you can see that everything we sent was getting through just fine. Sent, sent, sent. Nothing saying it's bouncing back. So everything was good until here. We just have one as boom, it's non existent. So given that it's a company email address, Ethan Allen Incorporated. Dot com. This person probably no longer works there. So we can delete this email. And we're done. And we go back. Okay, see it's showing, but that's been deleted. This one has been deleted, but we changed it. Okay, so we're just going to go through the list and find the ones that no longer exist. Here's another one, non-existent. A lot of these just say undeliverable. This one says suspended, which suspended means that they haven't opened anything we've sent them in a long time. So you just want to go through these and Check each one out and see if see if it's you're mainly looking for spelling errors for perfectly good email addresses that somebody accidentally spelt it wrong when they were entering it in. And we can correct the spelling and then they can continue to receive our emails. But you're going to do that for the entire list when you get through this whole page. There's 50 of them you go on to the next one. So we've had 171 bounced emails and that's what you want to do. A 3% bounce rate, you know, once we get rid of these, that our, our bounce rate will improve. But that's basically what you gotta do.